Hi, I'm Dr. Liz Arudin and welcome to my breast cancer diary or kitchen story or vlog. Um, I'm a breast surgeon and I've now had breast cancer three times and my breast cancer came back um, almost a month ago now. And what I wanted to do was to start a video diary where I can talk about what's been happening to me. Some of you may be nosy, some of you may want to know, but talking is also a way, it's a bit like therapy really. It's a way for me to cope with what's happening and maybe help educate you, talk you through tr what treatments are like, tell you what to look out for in the future. So I'm just gonna start recording these and if you find them useful, let me know. So just a quick recap, I was first diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2015 when I was 40. I'd had a large stage three mixed ductal and lobular cancer. Um, it was grade two, it had spread to my lymph nodes and I had chemotherapy, mastectomy with an implant, I kept my nipple, I had a central node biopsy, an auxiliary node clearance, tamoxifen and Zolodex. And in 2018, just two and a half years later, um, a nodule of scar tissue at the edge of my mastectomy scar ended up being a two and a half centimetre local regional recurrence on my chest wall. And that meant losing my implant, going flat, having more radiotherapy, um, having my ovaries removed so I could be put onto an aromatase inhibitor. And that was five years ago. And I thought I was all clear. Um, things are looking good. It was July. My memoir, Under the Knife, my story as a female surgeon getting breast cancer was about to be published the following day. I just had the most glorious week in Italy cycling in the Dolomites, but I may never do it again because the month before I was diagnosed in 2015, I cycled up the Stelvio in Italy and literally four days before I noticed my local recurrence this time, I'd been cycling up the mountains in the Dolomites. I just finished scripting my video on YouTube about local recurrence, local regional recurrence, what they are, how they're treated. And I thought, oh, it's late at night. I better have a shower and do the last bits of packing because we were driving back the next day. And I got out of the shower and for some reason, I just looked at my chest in the mirror. Maybe I was looking at my cycling tan lines and I saw a small pink nodule just above my mastectomy scar. And I swear it hadn't been there the day before. And I check my breast skin pretty regularly. And I've done a video on my YouTube channel about how to check yourself after a mastectomy for a local recurrence. Um, and I just saw this small pink nodule and my heart sank. I knew, I knew it was a local recurrence. It couldn't be anything else. It didn't look like a spot. And there's a picture here. And I went through to show my husband and he said, yeah, we need to get it checked out. But I was going to spend the next two days driving back from Italy in our electric car. Could I get through to a GP to be referred to the breast clinic? What was I going to do? And the next day, my book was being launched and it was meant to be the most exciting day of my life. And this is amazing and speaking to local radio shows and doing stuff on social media. But inside I was going, how can I carry on? This is really bad. Shit, shit. It was, I don't know how I got through it. I really don't. Um, I managed to get through to my GP and a receptionist got the on-call doctor to ring me back and she managed to get through when we were driving through probably Belgium and the GP said she put in a referral to the breast cancer clinic. I didn't need to go in to see her and I am forever grateful for that. But once we got back, I spent the next week doing more radio interviews, writing articles for the press. I even did a podcast with a lovely Victoria Derbyshire um, and Future Dreams who are setting up a new support group for people with a local recurrence. And all that time I had to pretend I was fine. Yes, I'm all clear. This is what you need to look out for. But inside, I was terrified because I was waiting to be diagnosed myself. And the worry inside was, if it's in my skin, is it anywhere else? And do I now have stage four disease? And how I dealt with that inner turmoil whilst I am coping with publicity, it was, it was really, really, really hard. Now, I took photos of the nodule over the next couple of days whilst I was waiting to be seen in the breast clinic. And I swear I saw it change overnight. It got redder, it kind of sunk a little bit. It started to bleed a little bit in the center. I knew. And going into that breast clinic, the, oh God, the, the anxiety, the stress, the, the, the trauma that you feel going back into that place. And um, seen by one of the registrars because the consultant was away that day and he said, yeah, we'll get a scan done. And I was sat in the waiting room and a couple of people recognised me. Again, last time I hadn't written my book. No one knew who I was, but now my face had been all over the papers pr 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 promoting the book. And... They started chatting and hi, I've got your breast cancer book and how are you? It's like, oh, 
At that time, I just wanted to be a vulnerable patient who was terrified waiting to find out if she had breast cancer. And somehow I managed to say, yeah, yeah, fine, just a routine checkup, how are you? And have that chat. But it was really, really hard being in this place where I'm now recognized because of what I do. And I naively wasn't expecting that at all. Um, the registrar who saw me um, did a punch biopsy of the nodule and that's done for anything in the skin. And it's a tiny three or four millimeter tube. They didn't use local anesthetic for me because my, sp my skin is completely numb after the mastectomy. But they just kind of push it into the skin and it takes a three or four millimeter plug of the skin away and that gets looked at. A couple of steri strips and a dressing on and off I went. And that was another week of pain, another week of waiting to find out and wondering, do I put my life on hold and what will I do and what will it mean? And again, trying to promote the book and be happy. And it was really, really, really hard. Um, and yeah, I was right back in that fear of, am I now living with a ticking time bomb? Do I have stage four recurrence or am I resetting the clock? And I now have to wait to see if it's gonna happen again in the future. I wanted to talk a bit before I leave this episode about um, the difference between a local recurrence and a local regional recurrence and skin mets. Because if you go to a website like Breast Cancer Now, it's all very confusing, they're all kind of the same. So a local recurrence is when your breast cancer comes back in the breast area or the breast skin. And it generally does happen in the skin closer to the scar. It's different to a new cancer in the same breast. But a local recurrence is a breast cancer that's come back either in the breast tissue or around the breast skin and it's often the scar or the nipple and it looks like a little nodule a little spot a little ulcer that keeps bleeding you may find crusting or bleeding of the nipple or the nipples pulled in that's a local recurrence a local regional recurrence is when it comes back in the tissues on the chest walls, like the muscle at the side of the breast, or it comes back in your armpit lymph nodes, either up here or the lymph nodes above the collarbone. And that's loco regional because it's moved beyond the breast itself to the nodes and the muscles nearby. They are not stage four cancer. It's not advanced incurable cancer. It's a local or local regional recurrence which can be treated and potentially cured. And it's normally treated with more surgery to remove the cancer, maybe with radiotherapy for the first, possibly the second time and changing your drugs if you're on a hormone blocker. Skin mets are different. And this is when you start to see lots of little spots in the breast skin, like a rash occupying the whole of the breast. And this is like the breast cancer has come back fully in the skin. And sometimes it can be really hard and involve the whole breast and the chest wall. And that's different. And that is kind of stage four disease. It can be all quite scary when there's so little known about it and there's nothing to read and there's no real support group. So that's why I think the support group at Future Dreams is going to do an awful lot. And I'm actually speaking there at an event in a couple of, in a couple of weeks time. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. That is how I discovered I had a local recurrence. And there'll be more next time about going to get my results and finding out what happened next. If you've got any questions, anything you want to know, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you.